In our research here in Valve Body Pro Research and Development Department, we have found very useful the use of pressure transducers. In today's transmissions, pressure transducers are very important, and we're going to show you why. Now, this is a pressure transducer, and we're going to show you basically you just can hook it up directly to the pressure taps. They make different types of connectors, now, uh, of adapters. As you can see, there's the four different types of transmissions, and they make a, a set like this that you can utilize, and there's different uh, plumbery that you can use to put a 45 or direct or what have you. But once you install the pressure transducer direct, like in this case, we're put into the PCC of the AW5, uh, 5R55W transmission, and so you just put it direct like you would a pressure gauge, and then there's a cable that you put directly, hook up to it here. Then the other end is going to go to the uh, uh, the meter. Now we're going to show you. Uh, we're going to go to a live portion so you can see the benefits of using pressure transducers in today's transmission. So let's go to the vehicle that we have hooked up already. Okay, so now we've already installed the pressure transducers on this vehicle. This is a 2006. Ford Explorer with the 5R55W transmission. We installed one of the pressure transducers on, which is going to be channel one yellow, you'll see it later on, on the line pressure. That's the pressure tap on the driver's side. And we put the PCC pressure tap on the passenger side on channel two. So we have two pressure transducers. Now we're going to go ahead and hook up to the Virus, and then we're going to show you how to do the setup and so, so you're able to not only save the information but view it later. So let's go ahead and hook up to the Virus and then we'll go to, uh, to see the pressures. Okay, now let's talk about how to set up the pressure transducers uh, the in the scope side of the Virus. So what you want to do is you're going to go under on the Virus or the Virus Pro, they're both the same. You're going to go to Scope Multimeter and also the, on the Modus most of the setup of snap-on seems the same, so the principles apply. So you're going to go to scope, multimeter, and you can use lab scope, or you can use the graphic multimeter. Since there's only two channels, we're going to go with the graphic multimeter. Now you can uh, choose, I'm going to choose dual graphic meter because there's two of them. I want to be able to uh, check both simultaneously. Now it's going to ask you, do you want to calibrate the, the probe? And it's, remember when you're going to calibrate the probe, the vehicle has to be off. So you want to be able to have the vehicle off. Uh, what it's going to do is calibrate the pressure probes. There's uh, the first one. Now it's asking for the second one. So they're both now, if you notice, they're, they're both at zero PSI, uh, which is calibrated right now. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the vehicle. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and remember, channel one is mainline pressure and channel two is your uh, PCC pressure. So I'm only going to work on reverse so you can see the difference. We're going to concentrate on the PCC pressure tap and then we're going to show you how to save this information. So let me start the vehicle. Now, your setup is right here. This is where you set up, for example, for your tracers, which is your channel. Channel one, as you can see, I already have it set to uh, 500 pressure uh, uh, tap to the level of 500 pounds of pressure, which means this level here. And it's good to have your filter on because what that does is it, it clears uh, any disturbances in the uh, line of the, of, of the uh, any interference. And on uh, channel two, it's also set up with a 500 pound pressure transducer at a level of 500 PSI. And if you want to calibrate, obviously you could always calibrate again, but the engine has to be off, otherwise it will calibrate zero at which you have line pressure right now. So now we're gonna go, uh, and also uh, remember the, the also part of the setup, you also wanna look at your sweep. Your sweep is the the screen in uh, how many seconds are going to be in the screen. I have it for five seconds. So as you can see, it's a five seconds, takes the whole screen. If I went down to two seconds, as you can now see that you have a two second, it's much faster. But for pressure, five seconds seems to work just fine. So remember, set it up to five second sweep. There you have it. So now let's look at the reverse.
Now we'll go back to neutral. Do reverse again. Okay, so now let's let's save this information. So we're gonna stop this right now. What we've done now is we basically kept the information there. Now, if you wanna save this information, you come to this little window right down here. And this is also is the same thing when you wanna save data, it's the same principle. You hit this button, then you're gonna to go to file save multi multimeter and it's going to give you um, file save multimeter then save all frames now that's a, a soft key comes up where you could now uh, type in the name of the file now I have a keyboard here so I'm gonna go ahead I'm hook up to a keyboard so this is we're gonna call this a 5 um, R 55 W uh, reverse test for example so now that's what it that's what it's called we save it another window is going to come up so you could put uh, a description or whatever you want to uh, write on there to remind you what it is that this test is about for example in this case I'm going to I'm going to put uh, testing PCC on reverse You could put hot, coral, whatever you want to put in there. And you say, okay, now that's what is saved. Now that, that information is already saved. So if you want to see it, all you have to do is go, go to home here, go to data manager. You're going to go to your scope multimeter folder and open it. Obviously, it gives you an option here. We're going to go uh, beginning this week. It, it does a good, good job of filing for you. Here's what, what we just test: 5R55 reverse test. Now, if you recall, right here, it tells you a little history on it. It's whatever it is you wrote, you can still come in here and write more information on here. It tells you what this test was about. So you could open it now. And now let's talk a little bit about this. This is the beauty about the pressure transducers, is uh, what you can see with this. Let's put this from the beginning. So let's grab one of the one of the. Uh, let's, log, let's look at the initial engagement. Now I'm going to highlight this, which means now I can use the uh, this keyboard left and right arrow to move it around. So what I want to do here is if you look at your channel uh, channel one cursor your cursor number one that's the information of cursor number one right here cursor number two where you put it is the pressure right here but I want you to see the two st three stages they were talking about on on this is impossible to see this on a, um, a regular pressure gauge which is needle look at this channel one you'll be able to see there's your servo stage you can see that it went all the way to about 46 pounds of pressure then it dropped down uh, to 30 pounds of pressure this is now the uh, torque stage as you can see it's going 28 29 it's gradually going up then it went up to a 32 and then it's going slowly up right about here is where the inertia stage went up and then it went to full applied impossible to see this on a regular pressure gauge this is the beauty of tra uh, transducers that you could basically get real close to the nitty-gritty of this so let's uh, now go to another portion of this uh, information that's going to help us to see how we can use this information in troubleshoot we hope that this information can help you understand why pressure transducers are very essential in today's transmission most of your transmission nowadays which are using the uh, servo torque and inertia stages of engagement and disengagement it's very difficult to see there with the old-fashioned pressure gauge you cannot see that as well so we hope that this in helps you understand why pressure transducers are so important and we hope that this also can help you understand how to you make better use of them it takes practice but once you practice and you get used to it you'll find out 
that that is a, such an essential tool to troubleshooting. So we hope that uh, this information provided you by Valbody Pro is something that you become, you see as very useful for your shop.